I am Anil Kumar and this is a very interesting video on polynomial functions. We will try to investigate roots of cubic equations. Question here is explain the relation between the roots of cubic equations with its coefficients. What I am trying to say here is that a cubic equation could be written as ax cube plus bx square plus cx plus t, right? So that is how we could write a cubic equation, right? Now, we could also write a cubic equation in terms of its roots as x minus x1 times x minus x2 times x minus x3. Cubic equation can have at the most three real roots, right? So, so all this equal to zero could be one form of equation which is in factored form and here we have standard form of equation right so we have two different equations this is standard form and that is factored form now what are we going to investigate we are going to investigate a relationship between x1 x2 x3 the three possible roots with coefficients a, b, c, and d, right? So that is what we are going to investigate in this particular video. So let us actually expand the factored form and see what do we get. So we have x minus x1 times x minus x2 times x minus x3. Let us first multiply these two terms. So x times, so what we are doing now is we are multiplying these two first and then we'll times that with x minus 3 so x times x is x squared then we get minus x times x2 then minus x times x1 and when you multiply these two sign will be plus x1 x2 now with that we'll multiply now x minus 3 right now so x times x square will give us x cube. Now x with x will give us x square x2. Then again x square x1 plus x times x1 x2. I mean this is x3, right? Okay. Now let's multiply by x3 with a minus sign. So when you do that, you get minus x square x3. x3 with x, we get minus x x2 x3 minus minus makes it plus then you get again plus x times x1 x3 and then the last is minus x1 x2 x3 right now all this is actually equal to zero right so that is how you get your factored form now let us factor and write simplified form so x square we have here so for x square we have if i take minus x square common we get x2 plus x1 and with x square we have x3 also so three roots sum of three roots now let us see the coefficients for x so it is plus x here so we'll write plus x and then we have x1 x2 and with x we have plus x2 x3 and with x we have plus x1 x3 right and the last term here is minus x1 x2 x3 okay now if you try to relate these terms with the standard form what do you notice well let me first rewrite the standard form dividing by a right so if i divide by a then i get x cube plus b over a x square plus c over a x plus d over a equals to zero right so if you compare what we notice is that x square coefficient is b over a here the coefficient is sum of roots x1 x2 and x3 right so so what you get here is b over a that is negative right so we could write 
sum of roots which is x1 plus x2 plus x3 is equals to minus b over a right now sum of product of two roots which is x1 x2 plus x2 x3 plus x3 x1 that if you compare is the coefficient for x here coefficient of x is c over a so that is equals to c over a and the last term here is d over a with a negative sign right so we have product of roots x1 x2 x3 equals to d over a right so that is how we find that the roots of cubic equation are related with the coefficients in the standard form of a cubic equation so sum of roots is equals to minus b by a now product of two of the roots and their sum is c over a and this i wrote wrong this is negative so it is negative d over a and product of root, roots is minus d over a we'll actually take a few examples where we'll apply this knowledge and find the equation of cubic function i hope you find it interesting and helpful thank you and all the best